This is Coach Mack. We're going beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft Surface. All right, we're in the first quarter here, 11-44, third and 10. What you're going to see here, this is a zone coverage, and it's gonna be a four-man rush, but this is a picture-perfect example of what we call a cage rush. The Titans have sweetened this four-man rush up a little bit because they're gonna run a game inside. Nico Autry, left tackle, watch the right tackle collapse the pocket back. Nico Autry steps up into it, collapses, and then wraps around. And as he wraps around, because the cage rush is so perfectly set, the zone coverage on third and 10 has taken away all throwing possibilities. And then Danico Autry makes a big sack, huge play in this ball game. Now what you're going to look at, it's second and 10. Now watch the Titans bogey their front, line up in a four man front, shift down from the left to the right, and they've completely confused the quarterback. Watch what happens here as they do this. And then Molden is playing this corner at the slot up to the top of the left. This is a slot pressure. You can see him coming after the line is shifts. And as they start, Tua again, does not, not quite sure what he's seeing now because the front and the coverage has changed on him from pre-snap to post-snap. He goes to throw, and now we've got an icy, wet day at Nissan Stadium. Ball completely slips out of his hand. Watch everybody race to the football. Big scrum for the football, but Molden, the one that was coming off the pressure from the slot, ends up with the football. Big, big takeaway for the Titans in this instance. We're now moving on to the second quarter. Titans have been hammering away in a very stout Miami defensive front all day. This is a really great job by the offensive line. Watch the right side get complete knocked back on the left side of the Miami defense. And then watch the second level. Watch them climb to the second level. Take a look at what Foreman does in the backfield. As he starts, he takes a little dip to the left to set up the blocks at the second level and then hits the hole extremely hard. Watch the receiver throw a key block downfield. This is a 21 yard touchdown run, 17 to three now, Titans. We now move to the fourth quarter. Titans now have been running the football so well that now Miami is really, really trying to gear down to stop the run. This is a three layer bootleg action going to the offensive's right. It's blocked very, very well. Watch the right side of the offensive line completely cave down. All the contain elements. Tannehill has now got great depth. He's got great vision. And look at the three layers of the receivers he has to throw to and to choose from. The motion man has come across, going behind the line of scrimmage. He's the first layer, second layer deep, third layer. Watch him throw the ball. Ferkser is wide open. Miami completely confused. But the Titans have all set this up by a great run game. And now the play action pass is working to perfection. Final play we're going to look at here is the fourth quarter. The Miami Dolphins are in a must throw situation. Tua drops back. First of all, zone coverage. The two outside receivers are covered. Watch your two inside elements here on defense. Take a great directional delivery key. This is textbook right here. And then a very athletic interception by David Long. Look at the race to the football by everybody. This is another takeaway for a big, big Titans win. Now on to bigger things with the Texans game next week.